Greetings and salutations ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alexander Oslona Sandrievitz and I'm welcoming you all to a new game plus playthrough. Specifically, uh, this episode is gonna be more more like a testing grounds, testing waters for myself, I'm switching from an axe to dual swords, I'm also already reset my titles, resetting all of my level points, I know what I need to do, you know, to be able uh, to actually what you call it, like, uh, stats, I'll be watching some of the, like, um, I watch some of the tutorials in terms of what exactly you need on, in terms of uh, how to maximize dual source of efficiency and effectiveness, and slowly but surely I'm gonna be building this up. Um, initial parts is gonna be dedicated towards micromanaging all of the stuff, and later on there will be some gameplay along the lines. Of course, uh, there were a couple of reasons why I decided to switch from swords, from actually axe to dual swords. Reason number one, I didn't like how uh, the axe doesn't really fit my playstyle. As simple as that, especially when the game's be when the game become becoming faster, I'm having a very hard time to catch up with a lot of the enemies, even if I'm doing good amount of damage so that this is why i decided to switch from for some faster weapon and number two i have quite a lot of problems with keys so i wasn't been able to effectively attack and at the same time block or dodge all of the incoming attacks because of uh insanely high key consumption Dual Swords actually fixes that, not only with the help of it having way less key consumption throughout all of your weak or strong attacks, but also allowing you to have more key to begin with because of the title, because of the stats that you will be redistributed and putting your points towards. Alright, let's actually... I want to learn some skills, specifically... Oh, this one has stayed the same, never mind. And in Juta stayed the same. Okay. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Because I also got like 30 points in Ninjutsu, I can ready some Jutsu to increase the capacity of my scrolls that I'm using specifically. Why does it say cap? Oh, it just resets everything. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, I guess. Almost everything. I mean, I don't have anything on my shortcut slot. Oh, uh, sure. Mm. Let's see, I always want to have weakness. Like, as much as possible, set as a shortcut, here. I also always want to have the barrier and rejuvenation talisman. Again, set as a shortcut. I didn't do this off stream, so this is why I'm going to be doing this on stream today for you to also keep the track of how exactly I've changed everything. Uh, also, on the barrier. What else? I want purification scroll. Hmm. Yeah, something like this, set as a shortcut, maybe three, because I I want also those, you know, flying lighting spheres around me. Mm, yeah, let's actually drop it down to two, and same thing with, I'd say, with weakness. Whoops, I am not refinished, game, come on. Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, Lighting Familiar Talisman. At least three, so I'll drop even one charge of Rejuvenation and Barrier Talisman. To be able to fit another Lighting Familiar for me. Mm, 2.0, 1, 1, 1, okay... That seems about right. Now let's go towards ninjutsu stuff. I said towards ninjutsu. Yep, thank you. 
Okay, I want quick change as much as as possible for I want Tiger running Set as a shortcut on the second one and Same thing with tiger running and I guess What else do I want from here? Mm. I say uh, I can actually fit only one. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Shrapnel bomb? Two? Yeah, why not? Let's fit two, set as a shortcut on the second slot there. Got all of my shortcuts up and ready. Now... Now what? Now let's actually... Okay, let, let me check. I, I have fit all the uh, titles. I have actually leveled up. So here's the thing right now when it comes to dual source. I'm gonna be using Constitution, Heart and Courage all the way up to 200 slash 197. Stamina is gonna be at 40 and Dex and Magic at 30. That's about it when it comes to the stat points distribution. The main ones, of course, are gonna be like Heart and Courage, specifically for Dual Source, because I'll be doing a lot of the attacks. Right. What else do I want here? Well. I don't have any dolls or skills just yet. I will be acquiring them later. Once I'll start using my weapons. Mm. Did I forget to do something else? Well, technically, yes, I wanted to do uh, the remodeling stuff, but the thing is that my dual swords... Are actually not improved, not on plot, like they're at zero. So once I have enough material to improve them, I will be doing this, of, co uh, of course, to be able to pump it up even higher. One second, I'll just watch something in terms of what exactly I need to be having on my skills. Mm. When it comes to dual swords, well, I guess when we actually play it, I'm gonna be unlocking it like one by one to see for myself. I wanted to forge one other piece of armor, specifically Master Swordsman, but I don't think it's craftable. Or at least I don't have a recipe right now, like Warrior Monk, Vengeful, Trident, I don't see Master Swordsman. I've collected a lot of this through my... Uh, original playthrough, but I don't see it here. Brawler. I guess you can only farm it up, you cannot craft it, at least at this state. Let me check, maybe the chest card? Master Swordsman, where are you? Brawler, Night Raider, Ronin, Skiras. It's a heavy set with a lot of bonuses towards the uh, towards a player who most likely gonna be using swords as their weapon. Ah, I don't see Master Swordsman. Nope. Okay, I guess I'll I'll farm them. From Revenants on the submissions. Uh, actually, I don't have any sub. Well, I, I can go towards Twilight missions like Blood on the Wind and Blood Tainted Samurai to complete them. Alternatively, I can do the Viper Sanctum stuff. I say I'll do the Viper Sanctum stuff first. My brother is already playing through the Way of the Wise, which is like new game 4 plus or 3 plus. Okay, let me actually see how exactly... 
like the move set of it all. Okay. That's the. Oh, I'm using. I'm planning to use mostly mid and low stance, by the way. I'm not planning to use high stance. So that's. Oh, another reason why I decided to switch to dual swords. I think it synergizes pretty well with heavy armor. That's a um, mystic card on it. Let me show it to you. This thing. When you attack an enemy, you will be... No, not the damage stuff. Your um, defense will be boosted for a limited period of time. It synergizes insanely well with heavy armor, in my opinion. Right, talk with him. He is gonna give something. I no, not this time around. Okay, yeah, I'm already have more than 1k key. Oh joy, of course, I'll be working to boost up my. I, I'd say. Heart is going to be boosted first towards 100, and then it's going to be like courage, and afterwards constitution. In that ma in that manner, I won't be touching any uh, like magic or ninjutsu. For some reason, I thought it was actually a big gaki, not a small one. Oh well, my mistake. This guy will aggro no matter what, right? So let's finish him off. ASAP. To be able to attack Revenant. See, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to have not having as much gaps in your offense to begin with. Light attacks, light attacks, light attacks all day, every day. Quick draw attack can only be used when your sword are sheathed. Mm. Sign of the cross. A combination move that encompasses defense and attack thrusts the sword while simultaneously guarding. Uh, can I see it again? So it's an, a counter-attack while you actually block. Well, I'm not planning to... You now clearly see and evade all incoming attacks during the recovery period. Wait, what? You now clearly see and evade all incoming attacks during the recovery period following a dodge. Low stance only. Really? Hold on, hold on. Let me see something. Mm. Interesting. I mean, I am planning to use slow stance to be able to not only dodge, but like mm, continue my offense throughout the flocks. Increases attack power. Although, how am I gonna like dodging a spinning attack that slices all around you? Mm, nah. I'm using like it synergize. It would synergize well with light armor, but I'm not planning to dodge the incoming attacks. When on full health, your melee damage increases when you have dual swords. Well, I guess I... Yeah, I need this one to be able to unlock, like, the full moon kata. Okay. How does it look? Can I do the flux afterwards? Yes, I can. Good to know. It actually is, like, way quicker compared to Rumbling Earth. I'd say like 30 to 40 percent quicker. Okay, a dodge user.
Wow, you're so good. See? My point exactly. Like, what, what are you gonna do about this? <laughs> Yo, this is ridiculous. Also, I'm gaining a lot of those skill points at the beginning. Okay, melee damage. Oh, I still need to learn this stuff. Greatly reduces the time. Increases melee damage against enemies with full health when you have dual source equipped. Oh, don't mind if I do. Even more. Mm. I'll just sign on the cross too. Now let's see how ch how quickly it charges. Okay. <laughs> I'm already liking it way more compared to <laughs> X. Uh, do I need to, to go right now in this direction? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, sure. Let's fight. Ow. Now it's two enemies at once. Hey, I was doing actually the sign on the cross, come on. I'm I whiffed. Note to self, I actually have to manually like put away my weapons in order for me to capitalize on sign of the cross. Yeah, I totally forgot to enter, like, to actually activate the uh, chat. My bad. I increase the melee damage some more. Fine. I think I'm dead. No. Not really. I need to get used to using the sign of the cross skill. <laughs> More so than I would like, I say. Because of how fast the startup is. No, you don't see like the startup is so fast. He he couldn't even heal himself. God damn it! Holy moly! With the elixir. Our health is below. Dual source on full health. Maximum key increased. Okay. More attacks. I actually think with that particular approach, you would benefit greatly for, for the fact that you would be using something like poison or some elemental effect on your weapon, not only just purity. Right, I can summon help if I wanted to, but that's not the point. The point of this mission to get used to using, well, start getting used to the dual source playstyle. He 
has fists. Wait, what? My mistake. Okay, I definitely need more key. Like every ounce of it that I can get myself to. <laughs> Barrier, please. I mean, rejuvenation talisman. Mm, now what? I can proceed onwards or I can actually go inside and kill... Well, actually, let's fight this revenant. I am pressing... Wait a second, why I cannot... Strange, I need to figure out like how... Okay, let's say I'm supposed... Supposedly I'm doing this... Oh... Have to press and hold it still. For a couple of seconds for it to work even after you have you uh, you had performed flux right let's go inside So I won't be doing as much damage to worse blocking, you know what I mean, or to the key, but it serves its purpose of allowing you as a player to get more attacks, like with as less of a gaps as you could possibly have. I hear Gaki literally above me. Oh, never mind, he's below me. He's not above me, he's below me. My mistake. Okay, decapitated. No, I need to use as much as possible my melee attacks to get more sword skills. Uh, do I don't have grapple in this? I think not yet at least. Momentum, melee mastery. Okay, okay, more key. On a winded human. Oh, on a human I can do this, but not against the Okai. Oh, for God's sake. See, like what he he tried to do. Actually, no, he didn't even do anything to me. He was just spammed to death. 
Note to self, like, I need to keep looking for Master Swordsman set pieces. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't get Master Swordsman, I got some kind of like samurai noble something stuff I think I'm doing it right like touchy arts those passives you definitely want to get this I mean I'm trying to use the same approach as with an axe especially with relentless like you would have maximum key mm. now I would want to work on low stance like stuff that will boost it what would it be like shadow strike from behind hmm. shadow strike three shadow strike so does this apply only to execute or to a regular attacks as well i wonder okay we shall see i currently i don't have any passives To test it. I mean, to actually... No! <laughs> My gear! Alright, alright. Nice try. Dude, how? <laughs> this is ridiculous. That's already like third Revenant who is dying simply because he is falling down. Uh... I legit have to bait them like far away from those pitfalls. <laughs> fine, fine. Go here. You can buff yourself all you want. Heavy armor. I have this heavy armor, so nope. I win in the end. What else do I want to get here? Your melee damage increases. Yeah, but I need this mind's eye. Increases key recovery while guarding when you have dual source equipped. Fine, let's do the mind's eye. I'm using quite a lot of healing potions, but that's okay. Wait, what? I was trying to... So, note to self, I need to... Yeah, do this. 
actually get the weapons away and then perform a follow-up attack afterwards. <laughs> My god, lol. Just, just lol. Uh, poor Revenants. I think they died way more times than I was dying from those pitfalls. In this place alone. <laughs> What about strong attacks and... Okay, what about low stand strong attacks? Mm, I don't know about low stand strong attacks, mid stand seems more preferable. Alright, onwards. Also, yeah, I watched that my brother told me you can actually bump into the stone to be able to knock it down and get your items. Keep hearing Gaki, but I actually don't see him. Not yet, at least. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, I need to return by circling all the way around. Fine, fine. There he is. So the skill itself, it's not very damaging at the current state. But it will still be a bad idea not to use it. Gameplay might look a bit spammy. Well, in reality, actually, dual. I'm not gonna like sugarcoat something. Yeah, dual source has supports spammy gameplay in full force because of the passives and because of the heavy armor that you're wearing and mystic uh, mystic arts that you will be unlocking later on. Hmm. Only in low stance, selling commentators during the recovery, following a dodge. That's the same passives that you have, like, I think in almost all the weapons. I want to get to full moon kata, yeah. Let's fight against this guy. Oh, keep blocking. Interrupted myself. I mean, myself. Me. I was trying to perform 
a follow-up skill attack to finish him off. And skill, please. No. There we go. Once they are winded or, or dropping on the ground, press R1 and circle, then press R1 and circle again. I, I think that's the optimal strategy. I might be wrong, but at least it worked this time. He definitely has Master Swordsman set. <laughs> I can already like feel it with the way how slowly his health is depleting. Oh yeah, yeah, Aberrant Soldier. Come here. been in this place oh yeah it's just in a different i was circling around through a different corner fine now i have to go all the way inside this cave i actually did the skill come on Yay! I was correct, so you put your weapons away and then you perform a follow-up attack even after you're doing your flux shenanigans. Oh! Silly me, I forgot that I... <laughs> well, I'm not rushing, so there's no, there's no point of using this ninjutsu stuff, which, which boosts your movement speed. That much, anyway. Soul course purified, now I can continue. use that much ammo due to the passive which allows me to get it back when I'm shooting the enemies at, at their weak spots. Okay, Aberrant Soldier get here. Wait, it says when I'm dodging. I I want to test this out. Wait a second. I don't quite understand. I think I don't understand how this passive works. Hmm. Let me read it again. You now clearly see and evade all incoming attacks during the recovery period following a dodge. Low stance only. Strange, I was doing it yet I haven't. Maybe I was doing it too late or with the wrong tempo. Alright, Revenance time. Rejuvenation. Ah, 
Ah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, yo, I dropped my. <laughs> I fell down myself. Whoops. Silly me. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't mean to do this. I'll try mine's eye one more time. Once I have a chance to do it. On this Gaki. Um, not in the first one, on the second one. First one is always gonna go down. Like this. Okay, give me back my stuff, please. Too slow. Too slow again. Maybe I need to just stop? Or what? Oh, no, it doesn't work. I have to figure this stuff out on my own somehow. I think I'm doing it wrong. During the recovery period following it. Oh, so you dodge first and then. During. So you dodge first in low stance. And then it can. You can perform like an auto dodge. I think it works this way. I might be wrong in that, in that regard. All right. Oh, yeah, sure. And he actually didn't die. Well, he's gonna die from poison and drop the loot. At the bottom. <laughs> okay, next. I am planning to go at the bottom, so it's not like I was doing it this in vain. Oh my god, like... Come on! Wait, I didn't buff myself? I think... I think I was doing it or the buff already vanished. Dual source guy, you will gonna come all the way here. I would wish to have your loot, if possible. Yeah, like all the way here, come on. That's enough. <laughs> Ironically enough, we both were out of key. On your stupid brave demon hunter, give me Master Swordsman set piece. You can keep this brave demon hunter to, your, to yourself. And yeah, I definitely remember that there's like a wall here somewhere. Mm, I'll do one barrier, I guess, and rejuvenation talisman. Shooting me as much as you want. Uh, execute, please. 
Again, I'm, I need to practice this more in training mode. How do you go from sheeted weapon back to, like, unsheeted weapon? No, vice versa. Unsheeted weapon back to sheeted and then immediately perform a follow-up attack. Okay, full moon cuts are three. Let's fight against this guy. See? Like, I'm pressing car one in circle and nothing happens. Maybe you need to hold it? Yep. So you have to hold it. Ju not just press it and hold it. So let's say I'm doing all of my wibbly wobbly combo. Then I'll do this. And this is how it works. Hello. One, two, three, four. I actually will not say that the damage the type was by switching over from uh, axe to dual source is that noticeable to be honest at, even in this difficulty uh positive yeah positive positive emotions indeed Like, it's only noticeable to an extent, I'd say. Oh, no, you don't. I actually quite like the tracking in terms of the frontal uh, area that it covers, you know? Not necessarily the fact that, you know, one time I was doing it and I <laughs> ended up on a different side of the battle arena, but you get the idea. Okay, fist user. So that's the worthy opponent for dual swordsman, definitely. Feast user. And I suppose Tonfa user as well. Even with the flux, he can block well, almost all day. Um, do I go in the... No, I actually went in, went in the wrong direction. My bad. What other passives do I want here in Dual Source? Let's see. I definitely want like defense arts all the way like maxed maxed out. One, two, three. When I'm guarding, especially against bosses, super useful. Parries enemy attacks, countering with a stabbing blow. Mm, I'm not planning to use parry to be honest. Countering with a cutting strike. Like it. This thing only works against humanoid enemies, it doesn't work against... Uh, against bosses. Maneuvers behind an enemy after they deflect your attack, then slashes them with an extra triangle. Meet low stance only, plus press triangle when attack is deflected. So, this is gonna synergize well with the stuff, like with the Shadow Strike, which increases damage when you're attacking enemies at their backs. Winter Wind. Use L to step... Use Stick to step forward and sweep the enemy with your dual source after a successful key pulse. Really? Cool.
keep hearing more snakes, actually. Yeah, there they are. I'm not afraid of your paralyzed. What the hell? Yeah, good good luck with this. She glitched out or, or something. She she would never ever been able to reach me from that far away with her grab. I mean, yeah, some some grabs allow enemies to travel pretty far, but not this, not this time around for sure. Like, they don't even have a chance to do something against me. Not all of them, at least. actually depleted him out of key meters so I, I was going for an execute and executed and it didn't work <laughs> mortal flow mines eye one and mines eye successful increases attack power I want to get to shadow strike uh, maybe maybe first get defense arts Hey, this 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 skill is actually kind of reminiscent of the Kasarigama skill uh, weapon that my brother is using, a one plus triangle. Mm, nah. Slash at the enemy before launching yourself into the air to bring down a mighty blow after a quick attack. Low stance only. And you change the position, so you. Hmm. Let's try this one out, like as a finisher. Let's see how it looks. It definitely has gaps. Can tell it straight up front. Okay, I have traveled in the wrong destination. I need to go in this place. Kill Gaki, kill Aberrant Soldier over there. As if. Oh no you don't. I'm definitely trying to use as much skills as possible simply to understand what will be worth it to use later on for me. You know, not necessarily um, <laughs> only the stuff that people are recommending to use, but it's also the matter of personal preference. Wasn't here supposed to be like a hot spring or something? No. Oh. Never mind. More soul cores, sure. Let me check something. 
quickly. Did I get like Master Swordsman set piece? Master Archer, yes, but not Master Swordsman. I blame <laughs> the ones that were falling with my help, you know, to the pits. Master Swordsman, yes, but look, it's only... First of all, it's light armor, there has to be heavy one, and secondly, it's yellow trash. Who would want to use yellow trash at this point? Beats me. Oh, by the way, those dual swords that you're currently seeing, I'm using, I crafted them. I haven't bought them from anyone, like, from anywhere else. I simply crafted them. Mine is better. Oh, wait, 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 what? He was winded. He was winded. <laughs> he recovered insanely fast. Uh, low attack, key consumption. I think mine is a bit better still. Of course I won't be completing fully this difficulty, I will do apply the same thing as my brother was doing, simply once I will accumulate enough points for dual swords, once I get the proper weapons and armor set I will go to the third and then for difficulty. Okay, another revenant. Really? Uh, I didn't mean to do this. Finally, Master Swordsman robes. Um, buy young blood Keras. I stoned you. Really? Skill requires 16. Ow. Wait a second. It's a, it's light armor. I need heavy version. Or is it only light armor one? Really? Interesting. Did I get this wrong? I, 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 I pretty much... I'm, I could be... I could mistake it for something, but I'm positive that you actually have a heavy version of Master Swordsman. Wow, what was so special about him? Strange. I definitely need to double check this aspect. <laughs> I don't want to use light armor. wanna die, this is why I decided to pop demon. And then I got beaten by Gaki. Ski? 
skill requires. I haven't... My skill is only at... 10. I cannot even equip the stuff if I want to. <laughs> Wait, what? The grave reappears or is this another one? I think the grave just reappeared. You stick to step forward and sweep the enemy with your dual source after a successful key pulse. In any stance, command during key pulse. Hmm. Tempting. Let's try it out. So. Uh, that's not it. Okay, it works in mid stance. It doesn't work in high stance. It works in mid and in low stance, so more attacks. Does it work with flux though? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Mm, I actually got this wrong. One, two, three, four. It doesn't work when you do the flux. Wait, only stick without pressing X button. Let's try it again. One, two. One, two. Supposedly it works even with Flux. For those... Like on initiatives out there, flux is when you switch stands, this and perform your key pulls, it allows you to recover more key. Oh my god. Die already, Jesus Christ. Stop with your blocking. It's not like I will allow you to do any type of counterattack afterwards. Okay, I have to open the shortcut first before I will go all the way down. Really? Well, the question is with this skill, how exactly do you maximize its effect effectiveness? Do you perform as much key pulses as possible? Mm, my guess is yes. But then again, it kind of counter. It kind of competes with the way how you want to get the maximum damage from one stance before switching to another. <laughs> Keep hearing enemy, but I cannot see it. Is it snake head? Where is it? It's stupid snake head. Probably below me. I dodged it. Yeah, he's definitely a challenging enemy.
no doubt about it so regular sword dual swords and fists with tonfas are gonna be on the same par with me especially when they have heavy armor but that's without passive without mystic card that i would like to use later on Do -do 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 -do. Yay, shortcut. I still have ammo, so there's no need to restock it. From Kadama Market, let's actually go all the way there. Predictable. Yeah, I can't, like, from my point of view, this skill... I might get rid of it, to be honest. Like, Dual Dragon, yeah, I'll keep it, but Winter Wind, I'll get rid of it. Uh, Shadow Strike. Probably I will max it. Mortal Flow, I don't know about this, to be honest. It's easy to get behind their backs with this, like, follow-up attack. What? Yeah, with this one. Wait, it says... Oh, is it says only low stance? Hmm, that's not it. Yeah, low stance only. I, don't, I thought I could use it in mid stance as well. Going in the wrong direction. I also like the fact that they are pretty weak to lighting. Oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> Is it just me or those skills on the Revenants aren't really maxed out, you know? in terms of their startup. was an instance where this skill actually worked when I performed the key pulse. Like, as a follow-up attack. Well, now I'm kind of ruining it. How easy it is like to use <laughs> well maybe it's, it's pure subjectivism you know to me it's super easy to continue pressure using a lot of the skills with dual source compared to X Pure pressure. Telling you pure pressure. 
Right, let's go downwards. I farmed enough of those revenants. Hey, I actually totally forgot that I needed to go down to get the loot from the revenant that I knocked down from that bridge. Oh well, my mistake. The main thing that I wanted to look for, am I getting enough of those green items, you know, to be able to level up my stuff? I think I do. I think I do. Try to dodge it, but you know the drill. No. There's a Scampus here, but I don't think it's a good idea to get him right now. I think I will get to him later on. Mm. I'll give to you this. Please give me something useful in return. Tactician. Nah, I don't I think Tactician is just the head just heavy armor. Mm, is there gonna be an enemy here? I I don't remember honestly. <laughs> I think there was one. Maybe a lesser Omibozo, you know, something like this. Anyway, let's do barrier and rejuvenation. I shouldn't have used a second bomb charge. That's from the top. And I need to go there if I want to cleanse this from poison. Oh, never mind. There it's, there's actually what will allow me to cleanse it. I was going for a follow-up, but <laughs> all I did was a regular thrust attack. Oh well. Yeah, Mind Sigh and Shadow Strike, in my opinion, should be maxed out, especially if you're doing this 
skill which easily which can allow you to easily get around the enemy and also speaking of the skill there's another possibility for you to get around the enemy where is it mm. it's from defense arts i believe like from this no now where actually have i seen this one It has something to do with maneuverability, like the way... How you move around them. Oh yeah, this one. So it's God of the Wind, God of the Wind 2, God of the Wind 3. And then Moon Shadow. Beats me how he dodged like point blank in Pondatara shot. <laughs> hey, big guy, come here. I totally forgot where exactly are the placements of the next snake statues. So I'm gonna get rid of as much revenants as as much enemies of them one by one. Shoot a few skill, but at this point, it's like, whatever. There's nobody at the top. There's Kaki over there. What about somebody to my right? I don't see anyone. I think I've seen actually this skill in one of the highlights. Like in some builds, people are, are actively using this ability. Stop blocking already. All he was doing is standing like his back was against the wall. He was holding L1. <laughs> That's pretty much it, like the whole fight. I think it's okay to start the fight in high stance, at least for now. And later on, switch it up to mid stance or high stance, enter high stance. Yeah. 
Enough of your stinking matchlocks. Give me some armor. Give me some dual swords. <laughs> Why do you keep giving me matchlocks? Oh, wait a second. I haven't been in area to my right just yet. Dude, he's gonna hold block all day. Because it definitely felt like he was about to just as that split staff user press L1. I'll never let go of it. Another scampus again. I won't be taking him with me just yet. Sure. Still, somehow, when I'm, like, after my combos, I'm pressing R1 and circle, he just stands there. He doesn't charge us. I'm holding. Excuse me, not pressing, just holding. He doesn't charge us this trust attack, uh, this skill attack. By the way, this execution, it's not default one, it's the stuff that I have gotten from one of the bosses. There it is, Dragon Claw. Wait a second, I actually... No, never mind, it, it was a default. On a winded human enemy, greatly increases your end. Maybe I didn't set it up? Hold on a second. Okay, more Shadow Strike. Mm, skill customization, dual swords, opponent out of key. Yeah, I needed to set it up. My bad, my bad. I had it, it was a special attack that I have unlocked, but. And it also builds up a great amount of anima in the description compared to normal grab, normal execution. Does this mean that I have to play with light armor instead of relying on heavy armor? Interesting. Wait a second, there had to be... Wasn't there supposed to be another cave that contained a final statue? Oh, there it is, I haven't reached it yet. My bad. This and there's gonna be another Nurikabe, aka hidden wall. Bunch of stupid snake heads. Okay. No.
There has to be more than a single enemy here. Yep. That was correct. Boom. <laughs> I don't care. Invulnerable frames. I don't care in terms of losing that many HP because of the passive quick health restore, it's totally fine. Totally, it's actually perfectly fine. See, like, so far, actually, you know what? I wanted to comment upon, like, that's that sign of the cross greatly reduces time needed to gather energy like <laughs> i wish to have this one on other skills as well you know what i mean <laughs> whole triangle nah i don't want this one because i already have char skill corner tiger melee mastery that's gonna be left for very end armor piercer wait a second increases final blow damage by four percent when you have double source equipped as your main weapon hmm Damn. After a quick attack, high stand. I'm not planning to use high stands that effectively, but that passive. Maybe because, like, just to get to this passive. I will try to use it. Oh, come on! There. Is it just me or AI like have some kind of weird like program stuff when you are simply charging at them, you know, with all of your might, they are just holding block and they don't do anything else. <laughs> mm. Oh, I have this. Yay, Toxic Slime Hunter. Sure, more titles. Okay, where's the stupid monkey? Oh, it's all the way at the other side. I messed up my follow-up attack. I tried to perform my skill to get behind him before he was doing his thrust. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Oh well. Happens. Can I still shoot him from this angle? I should be able to do it. Yeah, I keep smashing boxes. So much for him. Back to this campus. There's gonna be another hidden wall further up ahead. 
So he got crushed for his friendly behavior. It's either neutral or aggressive. Aggressive. supposed to tell me I actually hit the cliff oh my god yes I hit the cliff instead of hitting Gaki could have used my hand cannon to finish off uh, that snake woman but I would rather finish off her with my sword attacks It does way more damage than a regular attack, than a regular execute. And it gives you insane... Well, yes, it gives you insane amounts of invulnerability frames, but it also afterwards leaves you open if the enemies, if those enemies decide to surround you from every angle. Hey, how I missed... Oh, wait, I didn't. I haven't been here just yet. Because I thought I was at this place already. See? All they are doing is holding block. Uh, unfortunately. I wanted to try out this execute one more time. Oh well. So not only when you're using dual source you could be more tankier with heavy armor and uh, with heavy armor compared to axe when you're attacking you also can be more well not necessarily tankier but it would be easier for you if you hold block when you're def when you are just guarding yourself from incoming damage because of those passives you know defense arts increase key recovery while guarding Defense hours more, defense hours three. Wow. Like. Brilliant. What can I say? Yeah, that's the pathway to the boss. Let's smash the final statue. Killing also the stupid head, the stupid snake head. Yeah, that's actually something that I want to do. <laughs> you actually haven't even got close to me. Uh... The final one. Ow. All right, now the statue.
Does the heavy attack from high stance? What about... Mm, there's gaps, so... If you want to avoid yourself from, like, protect yourself from any counter-attack, light attacks are good to go. Like, you'll be doing them in 99.9% .9 of your cases. What will I give him? Give him green Odachi. And instead I received Holy X. Well, yeah. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Start trading with each other because I, instead of going for mid or low stance, I was going for high stance attacks. See? Told you my stuff is faster. We charged both at the same time, but I was faster. Well, maybe because he also got hit by lighting. Will there be any enemies in front of this boss? I honestly don't remember at this point. Uh, yeah, like the snake lady. And Gaki, but I cannot see Gaki, so I'll aggro her away. Yes, give me more skills. I want I will try to capitalize from the shadow strike against the snake boss. The moment I will get to him. Where's the stupid Gaki? To my right. No? To my left? Oh, I'm hearing them from the top. I'm dumb. I'm hearing them all from the top. He got me. See, more than worthy opponent. More than a worthy opponent. Like, can you imagine if he would fight Revenant and he fight like I do? <laughs> With some weapons, it would be almost impossible to defeat him. Let's activate Shrine. Get all those soul cores, level up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I shall I shall get shifting skill point. Hold on. Um, increases the duration of Yokai shift while in the dark realm. Is this that will allow me to get to Lichkin? Not necessarily. Hmm. 
I need to go like here, 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 and then to Lichkin. What? Yo, I almost <laughs> died from the stupid lesser Umibozu. Whoops. My bad. I told you it works. When you're doing this follow-up attack and then you will just jumping over them, immediately you would end up behind them. All right, now let's fight the boss, I guess. So, Sakir. Scrolls, one scroll second. Purification. Where's my lighting stuff? I didn't get the lighting stuff, my <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Let's try it without without the lighting scrolls. I didn't want to do it. Now I got grabbed. My mistake. Okay, quick change scroll proct. That's okay. Or not. I have to get rid of the stupid lesser snakes. The problem in this fight that I wasn't doing any damage, well, great damage with my regular attacks. I was doing mostly damage through, uh, well, key damage, I mean. I wasn't doing any good damage to it, to this boss, without additional elements like purification or under weakness or like with this demon form. Mm, I need my charge, yep. Again, instead of elemental damage taken, I decided to go for any my charge because of the faster play style. With those swords. Yeah, that's all fine and well, but Twilight Mission changed. Pilot Cherry Blossoms and the Witching Tower. Mm. So did I get something more useful? In terms of dual source, not really.
nothing in terms of rifles, I imagine, and cannons. Like, maybe I'm tripping, maybe Master Swordsman is only a set that you would use when you are actually, like, the only light set, but that's impossible. Like, I thought for sure that there's, like, a heavier version of it. Ropes, that's not it. I mean, I'll lock it in, but... Not from this menu, from this menu... Oh, yes, you can. It has to be named differently, that's the case. Yeah, everything else is kind of like garbage. It's a light stuff, it's not... Melee damage, attack defense, keep pulse recovery, active skill damage. I tried to play, I will go through a couple, some more missions to see if that's the case, like if... If I'm gonna be lucky and I will get something out of it in terms of those particular items that I'm searching. Meanwhile, this... No, wait, 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 wait. Forge weapons, my own... No, not forge, excuse me. Soul match. Where's my dual source? There it is. I cannot... I don't have anything on plus one, really? Nothing on plus one. <laughs> oh wait, well I can do my pickaxe. Why? Because I want to also remodel it. So that it will scale from... From what exactly? Heart. Right? Skill A, heart, aim. Okay, let's, let's do this. It will scale from heart. More stuff, more rare materials when I'm disassembling items. Yep. Wait a minute, I could have... Oh my god, I could have done this as well. Whoops, my mistake. I saved them all from the from original campaign. For some reason, beats me, I don't know why. Right, so... Improve the special effects on the equipment. I, I don't think I'm gonna do this right now. Matadozo. No, not hot. Come on. I want to go and ready my ma Omnio Magic. Ready Jutsu. It says that I placed it. No, I didn't. Set as a shortcut. Hmm... Fine, let's do it. Like this. My bad. So I'm currently at level 194. Like, all of those things are too low of a level. Maybe I need to pump it up, you know, go a little bit higher in other regions. Because here it's like, whatever. By the way, one mechanically... One mechanical tip I can give you. If you are gonna go toward the next difficulty in order for you to keep progressing through it, you just have to beat certain missions. Not in, not in very specific order, just certain amount of them to be able to unlock uh, I believe the final mission? Uh, that's not it. 
That's not it. Final mission when you're supposed to kill Atakimaru. I haven't reached this point yet. But that's the region where I'm supposed to... Actually, it's a very good one, to be honest. In terms of my character level. Let's actually check the dojo. Way of the Warrior Veteran. It's for Samurai Locks. What about Dual Swords? Ninja Locks. I haven't unlocked Dual Swords yet, right? Yeah. Not quite there yet. I'll complete some missions here, like in this region, and then I imagine the next region is going to be unlocked. Which, which contains the final mission for me to be able to pass on, on the next difficulty. This is the thing where you have to fight Shibata Katsui, I, if I remember everything correctly. Shrine activated. I said heart, right? Yeah, that's exactly the, stud, uh, the characteristic which I will be leveling. I know what I could have done with one of my parameters, place on some of the items enemy sensor. Okay, those guys, level 220, yikes. Did you saw what happened? Did he fluxed? How he... Dude, I wasn't tripping, like, he was able to flux and regenerate insane amounts of gear in front of my face. Just like this. Too late, unfortunately. Come on, you stupid skeleton. Get over here. One, two. There's gonna be more of them. Really? Even... They are capable of disengaging even when you attack them with light attacks. Interesting. Oh, Fist user. really losing too much when it comes to HP. 
Okay, Shadow Strike maxed out. What's the next thing? The next thing I want to get to Moon Shadow. Uh, press triangle when attack is deflected. Why is it shows? Wait a second. Only when it's deflected. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Wasn't there supposed to be gauntlet here? Uh, nah, I actually think it's in the side mission when you're starts in a different area. Yep. Yeah. I'll never gonna get loot like this. <laughs> Let's just kill this creature. Rifle ammo and tons of other revenants. As if. Yo, nice parry. It won't work, it won't help you for too long. Is it just me, or they are becoming like insanely tanky <laughs> by the difficulty? Like the uh, the further it goes, the more tankier they are becoming. Wow, it didn't do any damage to me. Of course, of course, another one falls. Another one goes, bites the dust. That wasn't really necessary, but oh well. All of this to get to the Mystic Art. Oh, for God's sake. necessarily the fact that they are tanky it's like the fact that well first of all i'm not i do not have incredibly strong weapon that's number one and number two i also they are like they just like to hold block <laughs> If 
If I'm not mistaken, there's gonna be a bunch of enemies around this place, not only inside. Oh, and wasn't there supposed to be Gauntlet? Or maybe it's again in a, in a different mission, not on the main one, but on, in the Twilight. Can't go all the way there, I do have to go in this direction. Yeah, so what? No skill or execute, that's kind of bad. Look! He regenerated his key again. How? Like he had zero key and in the next second he had full bar. What? How? Faster key recovery allows you to do to regenerate key that fast? That's insane. No, this can't be right, like, am I? Is this something that is applicable to difficulty? Because I don't remember it being as fast on normal difficulty. Yep. Hey, more skill points. Uh, let's get the one that allows you to actually... Mm. Yeah, when I'm holding block, the key regeneration becomes faster. Like, defense hours, defense hours, one, two, one two, through three. Totally forgot, is there even a point to go higher right now? Yes, only to aggro the sk stupid skeleton. Passage to the third floor, but instead let's actually go to the first floor at the beginning. There's supposed to be an Epon Datara fight, if I remember correctly. Ow. 
and I died. I died because of the stupid shooter in the midsection, damn it. I rather could finish the wheel monk off and then attack the shooter. Alright, now I understand you have to go from the top to the bottom. <laughs> My mistake. Whoops. Yeah, sure. Like it will it will work. Of course it won't. Feels like it, you have to keep pressuring with every single opportunity when you have key. Okay, enough is enough. Really? I haven't even considered that it's not gonna be enough <laughs> to kill him off. Or does he simply not he's not reacting to any of the hits? Yep. He wasn't reacting to any of it like even in the high stance, interesting. How the hell are you, like... I was about to comment that when I was playing with the axe, I didn't have any, even something remotely that looks like this. It was a freaking stupid skeleton. Oh yeah, where's my... Where's my skill? There it is. From this mission I will gain like the other half of the missing skill points that I currently don't have.
Well, definitely could have been way better. Is it better for me, though, to use heavy attacks in mid stance too? Considering that I'm using heavy armor. I haven't tried it. Maybe this will allow me to activate my personal hyper armor. Let's see. What? You missed, and I didn't punish you for it. So the enemies are... Like, in some uh, of their traits, they're staying pretty much exactly the same. I'm talking not only about enemies from Yokai Realm, but even regular enemies. But in some instances, they become incredibly fast. For instance, that when they're recovering, when they are recovering their key, or when they are about to hit you with certain like skills after you've pressured them. Okay, haven't been on the third floor. Let's go to the third floor first before going through the door. I am aware that behind the door there's gonna be like a secret passage, like, at this point it doesn't give you anything substantial. Really? Nope, sir, cannot react to it. What? Not to that particular grab, <laughs> which comes out with the one second startup. Okay, defense ours. Let's see how it looks. So I'm depleting myself out of key. Well, yeah, it still allows you to regenerate faster if you let go of block button, but with that passive, to remove this kind of a negative trait is totally worth it, especially if you are planning to block. Like in my case, I'm still planning to block. The moment I get the proper like heavy armor master swordsman set, I will try to block more often instead of dodging. So, where was I? Okay, nothing here on the third floor. Except for a pathway, which leads to a totally new area. Oh, isn't this the place where you have a second bell? Or is it at the bottom? Nah, I think it's at the bottom. Hello.
as if. <laughs> Next. There's there isn't gonna be any shooters out there, right? I mean I don't see anyone. He's inside the fire. Yeah, see? This is why I was kind of hesitant to start attacking him. Stupid wheelmong. Mm. Isn't there supposed to be a skeleton? With this corrupted monk? Strange, I guess not on this difficulty. Mm, let's do this. Has heavy armor on top of having Sarigama. Yeah, you can die inside this fire. Easily. Uh, explosion, right? Explosion time. I like this grab like way more than the standard one especially for it's not necessarily for the damage but for the fact that it builds more way more anima meter by the way does dual sword have any kind of buffs I you know R1 circle just like Sarigama and or X mmm I don't see anything like passage to the afterlife. This is something that I also want to you would want to use. Hmm. I mean, I don't see it being present here. Another red goes down. I believe I simply missed the passage which leads to the first floor in this mission. Where you have another bell. Or is it gonna be like slightly further ahead? Bell is to my left. stupid skeleton. I 
Actually, there's two of them. Yeah, great. I missed. Let's deal with them one by one. Yeah, I'm saying I and already like gotten half my HP. I guess that's another part of the picture. When you simply try to pressure them and they are just holding L1. <laughs> Ipondatara is the host, okay. care about your stupid diva. Oh, never mind. It's not Hippon Datara. It's Wilmong just as huge, just as before. his face dude what's happening like I whiffed this charge attack in front of his face <laughs> unbelievable that was actually the reason why I stopped not because I was trying to think about how to finish him off like I legit wanted to use as much skills as possible nope whiff Great. He was also using lighting element on his weapons, as far as I can see. Okay, I believe this is gonna lead me to the third floor and to eventually to an optional boss battle against a general with a spear. Let's go here to open up a shortcut. Thank god I didn't fall for it. No. Yeah, I'm constantly needing uh, need to do this. Now let's see what what speed I'm regenerating. Yeah, much faster. Huh? I actually think it's more worth it to combo into the skill 
sometimes when they are close when their key is close to zero oh i totally forgot just drop random thing for him random green thing As if it's my fault to immediately aggro those enemies when I simply open the door. Really? Wasn't there supposed to be another bucket of water, I guess? Yeah in this place okay yep like i was correct cancelling into skills gives you into skill gives you more option more option uh what am i saying when you cancel into skills it basically allows you to do more damage against their health not their key but against their health yep. i kind of wish this skill you know when you are doing key pulls and at the same time you're performing an attack would work when you're doing when you're switching stances because it doesn't like oh never mind wait but it's it does work i'm just bad at execution <laughs> Forgot about his stupid wake up attack, which he uses. The usage of Bell here wasn't really that great, to be honest. But it is what it is, as they say. Right, now I have to return all the way to the top and back to the third floor where I was previously. It's here and to the left of me. I wonder with that puny damage that I'm doing with regular attacks, how long will it take me to kill <laughs> that general with the spear or Shibata Katsu? I guess we shall wait and see. Nice try.
Whoops, forgot that stench mechanic is still was still working. Yeah, that was kind of pointless. I don't know what I was thinking to dropping back here. I mean, for arrows and some rifle ammunition, as if I'm as if I'm using it in numbers. No, of course not. So now I have to run all the way back. No, not that far back. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. Purple thing is still here, but it's not really bell. This guy down. Now let's summon a dude with hatchets. Again, another one of those. I'm just gonna hold L1. Pray for the best. Okay, aberrant soldier, some kind of guy here. Let's actually go downstairs. He's dead. No way he's gonna survive this. No, he will! Interesting. <laughs> Probably like 5 HP left at best. Somehow you can actually check your proficiency points even when you are here. Right? There has to be some kind of menu which allows you to check proficiency points. Mm, not this one. Definitely not this one. Yeah, there it is. Dual source, yeah, it's a lot, still a lot of way. A lot of time have to be... I have to use them to unlock Mystic Cards. Yeah, good luck with your parry. Right, so who is guarding this place? you quick recovery good start of frames on attack on and on whiff you won't have to do with all of the nonsense that i had that i was doing when i was using an axe
haven't even checked this corner of the street. Oh, no, it doesn't really matter. One. Oh. Okay, behind those gates, there's gonna, there's gonna be a boss battle. Fist user. Last revenant that I will face. That was a mistake. Right, now it's time to return to the shrine. Whee! Down I go. Was it in the Twilight mission where you have to face? No, it's actually in the sub mission you have to face here, Snakehead. Is this the right ladder? No, it isn't. That's the right one. I think against humanoid bosses I might have some problems, but we shall see. Let's buff, first and foremost. This, this, this. This, this, and this one. Give me my Amrita, please. So it's basically an unblockable, right? Alright, yeah, it takes longer than expected, but 
It wasn't something that I wasn't prepared with. Like, I used one healing potion and I pressure him, I'd say, quite effectively. I also am capable of blocking everything except for the stupid trust attack, which depletes almost like full your full HP bar. Right, more skill points. Defense stars number three. What's next? Where is an enemy stopping the enemy in the air tracks and follows through with two attacks? Mid stance only. L1 plus triangle while guarding. And again, it only works on the humanoid enemies, and the boss of this place is actually a yokai. Mm, again, another parry. That's Mystic Card. There's gonna be a shrine up ahead, so I'm not too scared to go with that low of NHP straight to the next shrine. The next zone is gonna be tricky. Even on normal difficulty, it was kinda challenging to go through it. More heart. Kill the Cyberin soldier immediately, I think, with this enhanced round. No, I cannot. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, I aggro the mage as well? That wasn't a part of the plan. <laughs> Whoops. Stupid flaming head. Really? <laughs> Not this time, they say. Oh, fine, fine. I thought he was supposed to be invulnerable. Hold on. Of course. But the thing is, it's not the host. I don't know from where I'm sh I'm currently being shot at. From the bottom, I guess? <laughs> There's my answer. Ow. Okay, okay. You freaking skeleton. Impossible to hit him from this angle.
was trying to kill at least one of them in order to prevent myself from facing two at once. All right, stupid wheel monk. Mm. Died for the neutral behavior. Okay, friendly it will be. Come on, go to me, please. Please. That's his definition of going to me, I guess. understand how <laughs> never mind uh, soul core mashing car too like crazy in that instance right I don't want to die here so I'll preemptively cast all of this there's another skeleton retreat I don't even know what the hell he did to me. Now, where is the stupid skeleton who aggroed? Is this the one? Yeah, it's the one. Wasn't so bad in my opinion. Right, all the soul cores I'm leaving because I am planning to kill those pesky revenants. White helmet for this. <laughs> well, I guess this one was like programmed from AI, so expecting from him too much. Get over here. Yellow piece of equipment? Wow. That's trash. That's legit trash. He had obsidian armor, no wonder why was why he was so resilient. Yeah, 
You gotta be kidding me. This freaking slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I had the same as mobs do, you know, as monsters in this difficulty. The higher the difficulty gets, the less of the, uh, the less effective would be the slot debuff in terms of time. Right, Sarigama. Here we go again. Yes, buff him, buff yourself up <laughs> in this instance. Please be my guest. Plus two, plus two. Mm. Here, have this. I think I've missed a couple of Revenant Graves on top of this building, so on the second floor. So I'll return and finish them off. Why are you keep, so, keep giving me white items? What is this last teapot? In terms of value of the loot that you get? Come on, give me something better. Yes, he disappeared into molecules <laughs> when I finished him. I keep hearing the heartbeat. Where exactly is this thing? On top? Oh, on top on the different side. Got it. Yeah, if the fight against Shibata Katsu it will be long. Don't know about how challenging, but long for sure. Do -do 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 -do. Also, yeah, like when you're blocking, I guess that's another mechanical nuance that I can share with you. Well, that second difficulty, you probably understood it from the first playthrough. You will be afflicted with debuffs. Doesn't matter how high your... How good your blocking skills are, the damage over time debuffs is still gonna... Or negative debuffs in general will still gonna be applied to you. Alright, you... It's enough to go only with the barrier. Stop it. Use this to create a shortcut for myself. Get Onibi Soul Core. Um, 
Do I really need to drop down here? No. Yeah, the tracking is kind of bad. He is winning. A little bit, but he is winning. Should have used more uh, dam. Should have dealt damage to him with skills rather than with auto attacks. Because even in high stance, he wasn't reacting to it at all. What? already okay dual swords spinning attack l1 while guarding mm, see this thing while guarding it's like maybe i'll work on the passives but it will be active only when i'm like at low health those passives i do want them like passage to the afterlife three and armor piercer yeah, but for that I still need Windstorm. Sure. How am I always getting hit by this crap? so much for the hunter so every time i'm when i'm gonna be entering this place i would have to f either run past by will monk or fight him interesting really worth it like 490 damage from the skill right now I have to run all the way back towards the shrine pray at it and then run straight to the Shibata Katsui boss battle fingers crossed I will be able to get him on the first try as well Buff here, I think.
bad enough. Like a duel of the tanks. Stop it. Actually, hold and block, come on. That's a new follow-up that he is doing. What? Why are you throwing your axes at? It's his running style again. And that's it. It was longer, yes, but... Challenging guy? I wouldn't say so. And also, thank God I'm capable of blocking all of his attacks with ease. Unlike, like, if I would have played here with an axe, it wouldn't have worked. Like, I guarantee it wouldn't have worked. He has only one move. Only one move. In terms of the new stuff that he's doing. That follow-up attack, which is burst counterable, by the way. Oh, and I... I need to go through more missions to unlock further regions, right? Yeah, because currently everything is still locked. I mean, everything. The last region. Fists on plus three. Yeah, but I'm not using fists. I need dual swords. That's some dual swords. See, I need this one, but uh, the purified version. Not necessarily the corrupted one. Hatchets plus two, and that's pretty much it. I wonder if I will be notified or, or if I have to check it manually like each time how much proficiency points have I gotten from by using a weapon in order for me to understand when is the time to go and get my mystic cards on it. 
Mm, I don't see Master Swordsman. I mean, heavy one. I'm already using this. Right, in this case, let's go to the you blacksmith decide. and keep soul matching, I guess. Where's my own dual swords? Yep, plus one. Withered bone and... Oh, it's only like corrupted weapon. Okay, okay. Still. Do I have on plus one something? Hatchets plus two. Oh, never mind. Here's the switch cleave. Yeah, like my brain fart. <laughs> Need to think quicker. All right, split staff. Plus three. There we go. More attack. Plus four fists. More attack. And this is it in terms of weapons. Armor is the same thing. The, for the rest of the stuff, I'll just I'll disassemble it. Baby stone fragment? What the hell is this? Baby stone fragment, huh? Interesting. Okay, let's actually try to temper. So, block critical. What the hell is this? Increases your block stat when your health is dangerously low. Block stat. I didn't even realize there's such a thing as block stat. Melee key consumption when your health is dangerously low. Mm. That's fine. That's that I won't change. I'm not blocking when my health is like super critical. I'd say so. I'll change it. Uh, oh, I can only change the stuff, okay. Meat attack, key consumption, gold... Oh, it's, it has like a gradation of, of sorts, so for regular Umber Sight, I can get meat attack, key consumption, gold urn, low guard, key consumption. Then I can get paralysis or poison. Mm. Weak attack break, strong attack break, high guard key consumption. Mm, that's fine. I want to change something on my accessories, like from the stuff that I'm using. Oh, I forgot to sell the ones that I am not planning to use at all. There. My daddy? Temper. Accessories. Oh, and I also am not receiving full bonuses from my equipment. Yeah, because like strength requires 16, skill requires 16. And this is stuff that I'm wearing. Like I only receive strength 20, strength 15. Hmm, hold up a second. I might have to respec it one more time because now I realize like I was playing like um, like a crippled person without those without necessary stats. Fine. Matadozo. I guess I'll use this manual to respect one one more time. I have plethora of them. Okay, Samurai Locks, that's the Book of Reincarnation.
Reset ninjutsu and omnia magic skills. Yeah, sure. It doesn't it will not take long for me to actually get it back together. Alright, what's up with samurai lock? I mean samurai lock. What's up with the samurai skill tree? I guess the only thing that I will be maxing out is Probably Deadly Eye. I don't see the point of going towards the lower section of the tree. Hence of that, like I'm not using any of it. Here I already got everything that I wanted. Alright, so please tell me how much do I need to have. So... Constitution and Strength at 20 right shrine level up constitution and strength at 20 yeah, this goes to 30 by default like dex and magic now what now what do I need to do Mm. Stamina 15 Stamina 18 Yep, there it is Current encumbrance 100%? Really? Hmm. It may simply not work. I'll do this for now. Skill possibly at 10. And then everything else into the heart. At least right now I will be receiving those bonuses from, uh, from items. Which I am currently wearing. Later on, I might respect it one more time to be able to fit the necessary, you know, like the optimal requirement for those dual swords, but for now, it's alright to have it as it is. Okay, ready jutsu one more time. Everything else had to be put on its place. I think I'm missing something. Well, purification, yep, that's correct. I was using something else, the lighting familiar, yep. All right, now when it comes to ninjutsu, same thing, quick changed, maxed, here, and tiger running scroll. As well as some bombs. Although I already have one, never mind. It's fine. 
Okay. Everything is set, everything is ready, and I can go and complete, I guess, another main mission? Let me check the country map one more time. Yeah, like here, everything is locked, like, in the next region you will have the other stuff. The main mission where you'll fight Atakimaru. Farewell to the best. Oh, it's a gauntlet. I was blocking that. What the hell is this mantra? How? Oh, great. Oh, I totally forgot. Like, I'm not playing on the first difficulty. This is why there's gonna be more enemies by default. There's that mage. What's up with the damage that he's doing all of a sudden? Meeting text from him. Yeah, the amount of enemies and the way how they appeared changes for sure from the first difficulty to the second one. Like, I have no doubt about it. Go onwards, I guess. I was having a hard time to judge when exactly I should buff myself fully, you know. With lighting familiars, with all of the buffs that I have at my disposal. 
have my gratitude. Can level up, which I'm about to do. More heart. High spirited demon. Nah, not this mission. Let's do two phases of hospitality. And that mission where you're supposed to face like the giant statue at the end. I would rather wish to skip it <laughs> instead of fighting it. I will definitely watch off stream when exactly, where exactly, and how exactly you're supposed to get your hands on heavy Master Swordsman set. Because I haven't seen anyone who was using it legit. No, not a single person. Should have prayed at the shrine first and then performed the headshot. Oh well. this guy why isn't he patrolling oh yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy this place is locked Okay, passage, passage, yes, yes, please. Passage to the afterlife. Need to max this out. Quite often I'm stabbing my enemies with the triangle button when they are falling on the ground. So it makes sense to get this passive. Hand cannon ammunition onwards. Ain't better. And the third guy was just oblivious. Nope, my startup frames is still way better than yours. Is he by himself out there? Yep, he definitely was. Yeah, I'm liking dual source way more than X. Gotta be honest with you. Do I need to climb all the every single tower? Nope. Okay, over there I do remember one guy will be shooting with artillery and then there's gonna be uh, like some kind of warlord trying to attack you. Like, with this weapon, it's fully justifiable to make sure that you master your flux, you master your skill cancellation, at least in regards to one weapon type, compared to X, in my subjective opinion. Look at this idiot. Boom. Um, can I? I should be able to kill this guy with a headshot. Yep. 
There's gonna be a warlord. I may simply aggro him. You know what? Let's shoot him with a cannon instead with an enhanced round. To make sure I'll do as much damage to him as possible. I'm far away. Jesus, I almost kill him with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about Takichiro. You think it's your turn? Think again. So easy to actually get your... Realize your plus frames. As well as take your turn back from the enemy. <laughs> even if they are trying... Even if technically it's their turn to attack. Just playing with him at this moment. One of those cannons will open up a passage, but not this one. Also, because I'm using heavy armor, I don't have any problems fighting Krevenants. Yeah, some of them do have hyper armor and... Some of the trades are going in their favor, but to me it's more manageable with this weapon. The hell he was trying to do? Some kind of swing? run not from me that's hanzo he will help me on the bridge the bridge next there's gonna be gauntlet what am i doing i actually buffing barrier instead of buffing <laughs> whoops rejuvenation scroll i'm dumb Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start your turn. Let me check this out. Master Swordsman ropes again. Light version. Hmm. Interesting. Does the game wants me to play with light armor instead of heavy armor this time? That could be problematic. <laughs> Like, what you gonna do about this as the guy who has slow startup frames? I was just... I spammed the hell out of his key. <laughs> Easily. Door is locked. I need a key to open it. Come on, Hansel. Let's get together. Yeah, 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 let's join forces. Boom, boom. Um, This, this. 
this and this as well. Let's go. So you're a total garbage. Ow. What? What do you mean I'm sorry they got me? What? Also, what the hell is this debuffs? Freaking pathetic waste, Hanzo. Dude, you're serious? There, we got them all or is there some another douchebag? Nah, I think we got them all. You're welcome, Hanzo, you're still useless. You again failed me. I'm telling you that freaking <laughs> fails me so many times. Okay, another dual source guy. Legendary Shogun Gauntlets, let's see. So he is wearing heavy armor. Life key recovery, bullseye bonus, active skill damage, key pulse bonus, and melee damage. So all around good stuff, I'd say. also having a pro wait what only one pieces of loot one piece of loot 
Uh, that guy also had a problem with how much key does he have, like, there's no way a Dutch user have, like, 1k key and below it. No, I don't wish to go over there just yet. Yes, Campus, I know you're there. I wasn't gonna bring you with me, though. Not yet. I like the fact that it does look like it's impossible to dodge this grab. At least by the looks of it. It's not a guaranteed chance, but it does look like it. Right, get the soul core. Open this thing up. For no reason at all, considering what trash have I just equipped. I mean, not equipped, but acquired. Pointless. Personally, I have a hard, having a hard time to realize the potential of this skill while doing like while doing key poles with flux. I'm talking about this. See. That was a. F Let me show it to you more. I have to keep practicing it to get better. Uh. Sure. Okay, you, but what about this samurai who is trying to just guard? This mission, it's, it ends where you are going to be facing Takichiro, so it's a duel of... It's going to be the duel of those guys who are using two, uh, two swords at once. I will be going downwards, but not this time. Not yet, at least. Yep, shortcut opened. Oh, wait a second. Speaking of shortcuts, I haven't even been at the beginning, you know, to open up that particular gate. Whoops, my bad. Oh no, it's over. <laughs> it's not over only because you, you are saying it, but that's not the reality. You're delusional. We came from this direction. Oh, 
you morons. <laughs> oh well. He's... How the hell he was still alive? Beats me. No. Wasn't there supposed to be a ninja who is dropping at you from the rooftop and then you are then you need to kill him? Hey, now I cannot Oh my god, now I cannot grab any of the loot. Oh never mind, I can. By going over here and then what? Now oh, where the hell am I? Oh, in a different place. Eh, whatever. Stop pushing me into the water, you morons. I only was trying to <laughs> push this guy into the water. Okay, I got Master Swordsman Bracers. Let's take a look. It's light armor. It's not heavy one. Maybe it's legendary Master Swordsman that's gonna be heavy, but nonetheless, I'm gonna lock it still. Did they finish this guy? No, they didn't. Right. How did I miss that shortcut? Let me actually fix this. Oh, come on. This is how I've missed it. My mistake. Jesus, that's like a total annihilation of this enemy. Yeah, 3v1. <laughs> no chance. Okay, this passive is doing its work. I actually see the damage increase whenever I'm going for an execute with the triangle button. Okay, that's actually a doozy way, like, to fight. I'll let them handle it. Come on, guys, you have, like, two spears. There we go. Let's <laughs> go. 
By the way, the skill that I'm doing, it's actually a multi-hitting attack, just like having an earth from an axe was. Right, now to get back on top, to get my loot. Do, 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 do. All the way here, here, to the left. And... You now what, I actually can summon this Revenant and fight him before dropping down. See? Easy. Uh, let's summon this guy also. More proficiency skill points. What? Did somebody is attacking me? Uh, nope. I've heard the sound as if somebody throws shuriken at me. Passage to the afterlife 2 and then the third one. What did we miss? Some kind of chest, I guess? Oh, not a chest. Sudama. But that's not necessary. Let's kill the dog. Let's kill other, other samurais. What? There we go. Got him good. Played the original Neo. I not only played it, I, I have completed it fully. Uh, my original, my original. On um, back on the day when I had it on back in the day when I had it on PS4. Both original campaign and the DLCs. Played through the game like two or three times. I don't remember correctly. Basically, uh, way of the samurai, way of the strong, way of the demon with an axe and heavy armor. On the second game, I played. I have completed the first playthrough with an axe and heavy armor, and now I'm switching from an axe to two swords while still using heavy armor. If you want to know my opinion on the first Neo game, in terms of. at least in terms of the story, it's way better compared to the second one. Uh, how does this feel after finishing the first one? Gameplay-wise, they've made quite a number of improvements, but the story is terrible. I know some people actually prefer, like, preferred or loved the way how they handled living weapon in the first game and they say that the yokai shift is not as powerful it's not as strong compared to living weapons but i in, from my personal opinion it's all right to not have um, such an op way to get through the game to build your build around living weapon and just mow everything on the map and that's my opinion you may have your own take on it the gameplay is different enough, it's for sure is different enough. Um, just the fact that you actually in the second one have the ability to 
stop or counter the attacks of the enemies on their tracks while using different burst counters feral brute or i forgot how the third one is called so it's basically either you're doing the slap attack or you are doing the um, parry or you're doing the very quick attack and dodge at the same time it makes a huge difference between i uh, the gameplay from the first game compared to the second game. Also, thank you for the following. For instance, when you fight an enemy or a boss, it may do this red glowing attack, and you know it's a burst counter. It tests your reaction, whether and when you are successfully doing it, you have a huge opening. You will do tons of key damage, tons of health damage, and you can also regenerate the health and improve your attack power in all of this at once. And that's only one aspect that they have improved. Okay, let me summon another Revenant. Like, for the gameplay, yes, I do think if you... Considering buying it, for the gameplay alone, it's totally worth it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right, I've cleared everything here. Let's go to the top. Freaking ninjas. Who is shooting at us? Wait, what? Oh, I haven't... I haven't been on this rooftop. Whoops. <laughs> My mistake. I thought for sure that I've killed every single enemy. I guess not. Really? Why is he laughing when he... <laughs> Dude, he dropped down there by himself. And can I actually perform an execute attack on him? No, not from this angle. Oh well. Have to do this good, good old fashioned way. Like circle all the way around. Or just let my allies do the job. <laughs> Okay, let's charge onwards. I still haven't reached a cannon on top of this hill to be able to unlock a passage behind me. I thought I was actually going for an execute instead of using the skill. Oh well. I guess when an NPC is trying to finish off the enemy, you won't have a chance to do it with him or immediately after him. I like how mobile you are with dual swords, I genuinely do. Oh no, I wasn't planning to get this campus immediately. Oh well. You'll follow me all the way to the top. Summon this guy. It's a lot of users who are you who are utilizing dual swords. A lot of the revenants out there. Oh, 
I almost got two levels from this mission. And that's an execute with the spear, if I remember it correctly. What the hell is this? How long is the... He stays on the ground. That's like three seconds of recovery. <laughs> It's, I suppose it's good, like, I, on, I haven't tried Dual Swords, this was, this is my first part when I'm trying Dual Swords on New Game Plus difficulty already, and with heavy armor, it, I think it synergizes incredibly well with heavy armor, especially with this Mystic Art passive, which I will unlock later on, you know, the one that when you attack the enemy, and the more you attack it, the more defense buff you will receive. And as far as the spear goes, I haven't tried the spear myself, but I've heard plethora of people are saying that for the safety alone, spear is like the best weapon out of all of them. If you were trying to play like, not necessarily as safe as possible, but like keep yourself from the harm's distance, you know what I mean? Playing on neutral, using hit and run tactics and so on and so forth. All right, now I'm on my own. didn't have any any meter to show that burst counter I have completed Sekiro once only once um, I personally believe that Sekiro it's not it's not really it's how should I put it it deserves one playthrough at least from a player if you if a player played previous Soulsborne games and he have heard seen or talked about Sekiro games, I think it's worth one playthrough, but replay value in Sekiro, it's pretty low, in my opinion. If you're interested, uh, I also have like a YouTube channel down below the link in the description. I have like a full playlist, like blind playthrough of Sekiro. You can check it out as well as plethora of highlights for this game, for Neo and any other stuff later on at your own time once I will wrap up the stream. But returning back to the whole opinion on Sekiro, it's probably the weakest of Soulsborne games in terms of replay value. I've played and completed Dark Souls 1, 2, 3 and Bloodborne. Same thing with Sekiro and Neo. Burst counter in Neo 2, it's pretty much the same thing as the parry... How is it called again? Mikiri counter, yeah. It's pretty much the, uh, requires from a player to have the same um, timing as the Mikiri counter in Sekiro. Sure, a lot of attacks from the enemies are slower and faster, as well as bosses, but the idea is the same. Like, if you manage to capitalize on your... Uh, parry in Neo 2, aka burst counter, then you will have huge advantage. If not, you will have a huge, like, your health would severely be dropped down from the enemy attacks. However, 
um, the variety aspect of it, like I've told you, is pretty different in Neo 2. You have three different versions of parry, if that makes sense, like slow one, which you can execute and it does the slap. You have a quicker one, which you basically, like, it's a dodge and a parry at the same time, but you have to time it right. And then you have a parry when you stand still and you wait for an enemy to attack you. Right, I will return all the way back to check whether or not an item that had appeared is worth it, worth my attention. Not really, that stupid divine rice, as if I need it. Okay, Sudama, let me give you green item, random one. You have this rifle. That's another new thing in Neo 2. You have those little purple guys and you, they will trade items with you. Same thing was in some of the Souls games, but here you will encounter them a lot more often. Okay, hard two levels. Yep, I was correct. Um, yep, it's totally worth it, but one thing that I have to warn you in advance, the pace, the gameplay, the tempo of the game in general in Dark Souls are slower, like much slower compared to Sekiro or Neo. You can you definitely can get used to it. And of course, there are a plethora of archetypes for you to try out in Dark Souls, like Mage, you know, Pyromancer, or some hybrid, like a Paladin of some sort, you know, Fighter with some magic. But in general, like, the pace of the game is much, much slower, but the f you, can have a, you can have a ton of fun out of it. I need to kill off his guardsmen and then I can fight him one on one. to use the skill, I guess I was too slow. Wasn't this mission supposed to end pretty soon? Uh, oh yeah, like that is just one square and the next like 50 meters away from me there's gonna be like a boss battle. Ow, ow. That was a burst counter, by the way. I prevented him from doing a combo attack, and for that I received a huge reward. I deal... I, I was doing huge key damage against him. So they're glowing with red, and you press like R2 and circle to counter them. Come on, shoot me one more time. Why do you stop? 
Okay. Um, hostile and friendly, so I gotta be neutral. So what's next? Kill the remaining Kravenans, kill the remaining enemies. Okay, Master Swordsman Hakama. Let me check this one out. Yeah, everything on Master Swordsman said it's a light version. Um, well, the thing is that gameplay-wise, like gameplay-wise, from my subjective opinion, the second one is better. Like I've told you, they made a lot of improvements. If you are interested about the story, yeah, there will be some references, brief references about like the events, and you have you will encounter some of the NPCs from the first game. But they will not play like an insanely huge role. It will be all, all it will be just for how do you call it? Just for reference alone. It's like, hey, there's an NPC who whom you have seen in the first game. Maybe he'll help you, maybe he will not help you, and that's about it. It's not like a huge... It's not like, you know, action RPG, aka like Mass Effect, like 1, 2, 3, or Witcher, where you have to play, like, at least look through the story on YouTube to understand what happened in the first game, because you will be using the same protagonist. No, here the things are totally separate, even though some of the events may cross uh, sometimes. necessarily like disappointment simply like you will see you will start to feel like what how dramatic those improvements for compare like with this that happened with the second game compared to the first one it's not necessarily i wouldn't say it's disappointing but you would still have to get used to the fact that you won't be as mobile you cannot play as offensive in the first game Dude, this guy is literally holding block for ages. <laughs> what a great quote-unquote opponent. That's another new mechanic, like when you defeat certain enemies, you get their soul core, and each soul core basically its own separate skill with its traits. Some of them are more useful for health regen, some of them are more useful to stagger enemies, to get a, an additional amount of health out of them. And you will, it's not only just for getting those skills, you can level them up separately.
All right, I'll I'll fight this boss and then I'm gonna wrap up the stream for today. Get everything here, everything there. On the normal difficulty, this boss wasn't really that much of a problem. Let's see how it will be on the new game plus. All scrolls, purification, barrier, rejuvenation, and lighting familiar. Let's go. He parried me, but I couldn't see that he was actually going for the parry. Ow. Jesus. Okay. My turn. I'm okay with this. No. Dude, enough with your stupid spirit. Are you gonna do something or just hold block? Wow. <laughs> One healing potion. No demon form required. He parried me once, but I'd say with the amount of attacks that I was doing to him, that was just a pure luck. <laughs> I used one healing potion and one quick change scroll, and that's pretty much it. No form of additional help required. Sadly, I didn't get his skill. I'm using dual source, and this boss drops skill that you can use. Soul cores were purified, and the next region is still not not unlocked. Interesting. All right, let me save up. And yep, yeah, this is gonna be it for today's stream. I would like to thank anyone who was watching it. Doesn't really matter when exactly you have tuned in, as long as you have received something useful out of it. I'm totally fine with this end. In general, you'd have fun. That's something that I am totally glad that you did. If you have missed some parts of today's stream, you want to rewatch it later at your own leisure. You can do so by watching video on demands here on this Twitch page channel. Currently, my brother is doing his own. Uh, playthrough with Light Armor and Kusarigama in Neo 2. I'm doing my own playthrough with Heavy Armor and this time around I'm using Dual Swords. Previously I was using Axe. There's also a plethora of videos from my playthrough highlights you can watch on the Mighty Bros YouTube channel, link to which you'll find below in the separate Twitch tab. I'm focusing on, uh, in those highlights on boss fights and explana explanation of the various mechanics that have led into those fights as well as analysis after the fights so you can watch uh, them as well later on at your own leisure on our youtube channel you will also find plethora of blind playthroughs game reviews a lot of the other interesting stuff so that you'll have something to watch in between those stream segments additionally if you wish to stay up to date with everything related to our streams, our stream, specifically the games that we'll be playing, or our upload 
stuff on YouTube as well as watch exclusive content, I recommend you to follow on the social links that we are using, either Facebook or Twitter. Finally, if you wish to support um, the creativity process in any way, shape or form, you can do so by following simple steps. It will be to become a follower on Twitch, to subscribe to YouTube channel, leave a like and share the videos. It will motivate us tremendously to continue producing uh, the best content that we could possibly offer to you, as well as it also promotes us in the whole like, YouTube algorithm section. Also consider subscribing or becoming a patron, Subscrib subscribing on Twitch or becoming a patron. Thus, you will receive for yourselves tons of useful bonuses that you cannot get otherwise. You can check them out by hovering over to the Patreon page link down below and seeing it for yourselves. For that, we will also be extremely grateful and continue to work and provide you with the best content that we can possibly offer, as well as up the quality bar even higher. With that said, again, thanks everyone for watching. I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself. Stay sound, stay healthy and cheerful. The next stream will be tomorrow from my brother. And until next time, my name was Alexander Ostanov Sandrievitz. See you guys on the next stream. Bye and have a great time of the day.